Well, in all likelihood, you are looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic, back for more time. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Steve Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters identical in age with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve Pay! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling world. And of course, if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next fight. Yes. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Three minutes. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hand there by Steve. 
Pepe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well on the feet. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches and high punches and nobody sees the master, but with Justin on the fly whenever he's inside the outfit. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Stipe Miocic. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxing, going back, and watching this guy go, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right hand now just misses. Big leg kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, man, head kick lands. Slips that left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Boom. His misses are entertaining. What an end to round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful strike. Oh, a nice straight there by Miacic. Split the guard beautifully there. Punch to the body is blocked. Connects with a right. Miacic's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Slips the punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Throwing that jab, no good. Great punch landed with so much power. Jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings 
his hands right back to his face. Fifteen seconds remain in the left. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. What a fight so far! All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Unable to connect there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just misses with the straight right. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Relax, Stop throwing. Relax. Keep your hands up for me. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp too. Cat mouse, you gotta play cat mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Miacic. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Fight's gonna be over this what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Oh, straight right. And what a round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, that's DC. Massive, massive hook lands 
and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight a your Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Again, working off that beautiful jab, he continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and large right through it to get the knockout. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stipe Miocic. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight.